On the worst day of someone's life, the first people a victim of sexual assault encounters in the aftermath could mean the difference between a lifetime of despair and recovery. Do you remember him scratching you, or did you wake up with those? I just remember him holding me, and then I woke up with them. Since 1993, the Bon Secours Forensic Nursing Team has been that first encounter for thousands of victims of abuse, assault, and trafficking. It all started when Bonnie Price, while working in an emergency department, had a revelation. Patients who are victims of sexual assault and other victims of violence would be triaged lower on the priority list because they didn't have a lot of physical injuries. Um, they needed evidence collection and they needed other things, but they didn't have physical injuries, so chest pain and, and um, abdominal pain always would get seen prior to the victims of sexual assault. During a break, I noticed a pamphlet about a training on how to collect evidence in cases of sexual assault. Myself and a couple of other nurses in the emergency department were frequently the ones that would collect evidence when these patients would come in. Um, and so we decided we'd go to the training and learn uh, better how to take care of the patients that, that we'd already been um, trying to care for all along. Bonnie got her training and began slowly but surely building a team and pioneering new methods to give victims an opportunity to seek justice. The patient's in the worst place they could possibly be when they come here for the most part. And we want to give them back as much control as possible. So when they come to the office, we're talking with them about how they can help us with the exam. We're giving them options. They have the ability to take breaks while we're doing their exam. We want them to know that they're in charge and that this is their exam and they're really running the show. From that first patient to the more than 2,000 patients this team sees every year, the work of the forensic nursing team has revealed an unspoken war on vulnerable people that threatens our communities every day. Across the nation, sexual assault, child abuse, human trafficking, and strangulation prevail in every sector of our society. Facing this crisis, the Bon Secours Forensic Nursing Team has built a community network that includes generous community donors, the police, the judicial system, social services, advocates, and victim witnesses. These teams work together for patients affected by all forms of violence and bring perpetrators to justice. Bonnie and her team are always forward thinking and trying to get us to be the, the best possible team that we can be. And that not only helps her team, but it helps our whole multidisciplinary team as a whole. All right, Katie, I'm going to start with a few easy questions for you today, okay? The process of assessing a victim of sexual assault today is comprehensive. The Bon Secours Forensic Nurse Team covers every area from physical assessment to gathering sophisticated scientific data to be used as evidence. When we get up to this area, what we do is we sit and we have a conversation, very much like you and I are sitting here doing, and we'll get um, all of the details of what exactly happened to that patient. But in the midst of that, we're also asking them about medical history that they may have that is also a factor in what we're going to be talking about and what we're going to be looking at. Once we finish that, then we bring them into our exam room and we do a forensic evidence collection related to that particular assault. And we'll walk the patient through, giving them opportunities for breaks. It's very much like going to a gynecologist if you're a female, having a pelvic exam, um, and we're collecting swabs from many different areas, but we're maintaining chain of custody. We're including those in an evidence collection kit that we'll be handing over to law enforcement once the exam is done. As a prosecutor dealing specifically with um, complainants of a sexual assault, one of the most important things is to have corroborating evidence. Um, so I find that having a fact witness who is a professional and an expert in the field oftentimes creates scientific corroboration that a jury places value on. I frequently say St. Mary's is the best in terms of their forensic nursing program. They are the best because they stay on top of education. In fact, we send teams to train together. So I do, I think they are the absolute best in the area in terms of their field. Nothing can erase the memory of this type of violence. 
But in the next 25 years, as the Central Virginia community continues to provide the vital resources for equipment and training, the forensic nursing team will pursue every method to ensure justice and compassion, giving victims every opportunity possible to regain a measure of their lives.